Hey chickies, okay today we are doing black and white for 31 day challenge. Now I decided to do a chalkboard mani because that's basically black and white. Yes I did add an apple but you know I had to because it was it just needed an apple. <laughs> anyway I really hope you like it, let's get into it. Now to paint all of the details for this mini, I'm using Just Nail Nail Art Ink from the Stylish Nail Art Shop. Their base colour is Man Glaze Matt is Murder. I love this polish so much, you have no idea. I have several bottles because I'm scared I might run out. It's that good. So the brush I'm using is the Maxi brush from the Stylish Nail Art Shop, so it's the really, really fine brush. Uh, and this is just painting straight over Manglaze at Matty's Murder and this nail art ink is so nice to use. It's usually generally used uh, with a fountain pen but I decided to use it with my brush uh, and it actually smells really nice. Like it doesn't have like a paint smell at all. It actually smells kind of sweet. It's very strange. I don't know why. It's, I really like the smell of it. It could just be me. Now on the middle nail is where I'm placing the apple and as you can see I decided I started filling in the apple. Uh, now I'm painting it white first because I want the red to stand out and that's the only reason I'm doing that. Uh, and as you can see it's quite a thin consistency so I'm, I'm not uh, thinned it out with any water or anything like that. I'm using it completely neat from the from the little bottle and you don't need very much so you're not going to go th even though the the bottles are quite small um, apart from the white bottle the white bottle is bigger than all of the rest of them uh, you're not going to go through a lot I mean, it's going to last a long time when you buy it like I bought it in a set it's um, a set of 12 uh, it's not incredibly cheap but it is incredibly worth it because a little bit goes a very long way now this paint dries incredibly fast so it didn't take long before I could come back in with the red to colour in the apple. Now the brush that I'm using to fill in the apple is just from a regular craft store. And once the first coat of red was completely dry, which literally took seconds, I added another coat of the red just to give it a bit more of a punchy colour. Next up on the index nail I decided to do a cat's head. I was going to do a whole cat but it just I did do one and it just looked like really crap so <laughs> I got rid of that. And to, to uh, fix any mistakes or to uh, wipe stuff away all you need is uh, some isopropyl alcohol and a cotton pad and you can just take it off and start again. It's very easy. It's, it works very similarly to uh, um, the normal acrylic paint that I use. And on my pinky, just a heap of random designs, a flower, a love heart, you know, just random um, musings of a three-year-old. Because <laughs> it basically looks like a three-year-old drew it. It's true. <laughs> but it's okay. Now for top coating because I wanted the end result to be matte but uh, I don't trust matte top coats not to smudge my um, acrylic paints or you know these ones either because I've never tried it. So I top coated with Sesh Feet first, let that dry and then top coated with uh, Sally Hansen's big matte top coat just to make it all completely matte in the end because it has to come back to matte and you must top coat stuff otherwise you know you're just going to end up crying and you don't want to do that. And that's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. Now just remember you can switch out the nail art ink for acrylic craft paint. That works just as, just as well for a chalkboard bunny. So so next up it's metallic nails. Ooh, what am I going to do for that one? Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.